Welcome and thank you for joining us for today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread on the 30th of July, 2023. The Bible reading today is 1 Corinthians 12, 12 to 14 and 21 to 27. Just as a body, though one, has many parts, but all its many parts form one body, so it is with Christ. For we were all baptized by one Spirit, so as to form one body, whether Jews or Gentiles, slave or free, and we were all given the one Spirit to drink. And so the body is not made up of one part, but of many. The eye cannot say to the hand, I don't need you, and the head cannot say to the feet, I don't need you. On the contrary, these parts of the body that seem to be weaker are indispensable, and the parts that we think are less honourable we treat with special honour, and the parts that are unpresentable are treated with special modesty, while our presentable parts need no special treatment. But God has put the body together, giving greater honour to the parts that lacked it, so that there should be no division in the body, but that its part should have equal concern for each other. If one part suffers, every part suffers with it. If one part is honoured, every part rejoices with it. Now you are the body of Christ, and each one of you is a part of it. Today's article, titled Lower Deck People, was written by Sheridan Voisey. A friend of mine works on a hospital ship called Africa Mercy, which takes free healthcare to developing countries. The staff daily serve hundreds of patients whose ailments would otherwise go untreated. TV crews who periodically board the ship point their cameras on its amazing medical staff who fix cleft pallets and reset club feet. Sometimes they go below deck to interview the other crew members, but the work Mick does typically goes unnoticed. Mick, an engineer, admits being surprised about where he'd been assigned to work, in the ship's sewage plant. With up to 40,000 litres of waste produced each day, managing this toxic material is serious business. Without Mick tending its pipes and pumps, Africa Mercy's life-giving operations would stop. It's easy to applaud those on the top deck of Christian ministry while overlooking those in the galleys below. When the Corinthians elevated those with extraordinary gifts above others, Paul reminded them that every believer has a role in Christ's work and every gift is important whether it's miraculous healing or helping others. In fact, the less prominent the role, the greater honour it deserves. Are you a lower deck person? Then lift your head high. Your work is honoured by God and is indispensable to us all. Let's pray. I'm important to you, God. Thank you for noticing me, whether others do or not. Amen. Thank you for listening today. My name is Andrew, and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministry.